What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to build a gaming PC, whether it's for games, for video editing, for streaming, this thing is gonna be super capable. I'm gonna give you a easy, simple, step-by-step -step in details tutorial on how to build your own PC. But first things first, we have to prepare the motherboard. We're gonna install the, the uh, CPU and the RAMs on the motherboard before we install it to uh, into the case and assemble the rest of the parts with it. But uh, first, before that, let me quickly go over the parts that I have here. Uh, the most important thing before picking your parts is to make sure that they are compatible with each other. So in my case, I went to the MSI.com website. I made sure that the Ryzen uh, processor and the DDR4 RAMs here are compatible with the motherboard. So everything can just go together without any problem. Now here for the motherboard, I have the MSI B450M Pro M2 Max. This is, uh, MSI always makes a great part. And this is gonna be the, the motherboard that we're gonna use. Here we have the Ryzen 5 3600 processor. Uh, this thing is six cores, 12 threads, a monster for the for the, for the the money. And it's, it's super quick. So it's gonna be the best thing for the budget we have here. And we also have a 250 gigabyte SSD. Um, for the RAMs, I chose to go with the Team Group T-Force Vulcan Z. Uh, these were about $60 on uh, Amazon. They're 32 megahertz, so uh, they work uh, good and fast with the CPU. And the, for the power supply, anything 80 plus certified should be good enough. This is the Apivia Prestige power supply. Any graphics card should be compatible with the rest of the components, so that shouldn't be a problem. Now, with that being said, let's get working on the motherboard, get it prepared so we can install it into the PC and assemble the rest of the parts into it. So let's get into the video. Okay, now to prepare the motherboard before we install it into the PC case, we wanna install the CPU and the cooler and the RAMs on it before. So we're gonna bring it out of the packaging and we're gonna set it on the box here just to keep it safe. Uh, now, the uh, we're gonna be looking at the motherboard like this upward. So this is where the back of the case is gonna be. This is the top, this is the front, and this is the bottom. This is where the CPU goes. So before we ins uh, install the CPU, we wanna remove these brackets here. So this is the CPU. We're gonna open it. We're not gonna touch the bottom, but first we're gonna release this arm here. We're just gonna push it upward and push it back like this. Now we're gonna grab the CPU. From the, see there's a cutouts here for the fingers so you don't touch it. So we're gonna grab it. There's very uh, delicate pins at the bottom that you don't wanna bend. So we're gonna set the cover aside. And the Ryzen word, it's gonna, the Ryzen word, like it's gonna be facing the back of the case. So we're just gonna drop it in place. Like so. There's a dot at the bottom of the CPU, at the bottom left corner, that lines up with a dot on the motherboard. So now we're just gonna push to lock it in place. Okay, and that's it. Now to install the CPU cooler, there's two options. The first option is to use the pre-applied thermal pad here, but if you damage that, you can uh, apply your own thermal paste, but we're, we're not gonna touch that, we're not gonna damage that, this is perfect. This is better than applying your own thermal paste, so we're just gonna use that. And we're gonna line up the AMD word the same way the Ryzen word was, so the uh, screws can line up. So they go in like that. Now we're gonna tighten the screws in a crisscross pattern, uh, a little bit at a time, so we it, it goes down nice and even. Okay, so we have to remove the cover here. It just pops out so we can tighten the bolts, the screws, and then we're gonna go around and get them tight. Uh, 
Okay, so after you tighten all these bolts, we're gonna bring the cover back, just snap it in place. It goes on one way, just push on. Okay, snaps in place like so, nice and snug. And then you're gonna plug in the fan right here. There's a spot for it, you can't miss it. Okay. Just like so, I'm gonna tuck the wire right here. And the CPU, the cooler, the fan are all good to go. Now to install the RAMs, we're basically gonna open these tabs up toward the outside. And then we're gonna grab the RAM, line up the notch here with the notch where the RAM goes. We're just gonna slide them in. Okay, in my case, I had to remove the cooler uh, plastic cover before I install the rams okay, So it just slides in and once it goes in you can push it down it will lock the outside tabs on its own Like so I'm gonna grab the other one Okay Slide it in push it down until it locks itself Perfect. Okay, now that we have the CPU, the cooler, and the RAMs installed properly, this is uh, ready to go. It can be set aside until we get the case ready for it. We can just put it in, install the screws, and it should be good to go. Now to install the motherboard in the case, you wanna lay the case on its side like so. Now you wanna grab the motherboard that you just prepared. You wanna make sure that the standoffs in the case line up with the holes on the motherboard so you can uh, uh, put the screws and um, fasten the motherboard so we're just gonna put it here mock it up make sure okay so we're missing one standoff right here one right here and the other three line up perfectly so one right here and one right here we're gonna see so one two three four are good we need two more here and here and the holes exist right here and right here. So we're gonna move these two and move them right here and here. Okay, now that we have the new standoffs moved here to the right place, we're just gonna grab our IO shield, line it up properly, and just stick it in place and push it until it snaps. Okay, now we grab the motherboards slide it into the IO shield and make sure everything lines up properly okay there you line up perfect awesome we're gonna grab the screws provided by the case none came with the motherboard we're gonna grab some of these smaller ones and screw the motherboard. And uh, that's how it looks when it's all installed and all the screws fastened. It's installed, it's lined up perfectly. You gotta make sure the uh, USBs and all these ports line up perfectly before uh, you move on. So um, now we can install other components like the power supply, the SSD, uh, run the, all the wires through the back. So the motherboard is uh, good to go. Now uh, let's move on. Okay, so now we're moving on to the next component. In this case, I'm choosing to install the power supply. So just put it in and put the screws first and then we're gonna run the all these wires. So it goes on like so. Okay, leave these wires out. Okay, we're gonna line up these four holes and install the screws that are supplied with the power supply. 
when you install the screws don't tighten them just put them a uh, couple of turns until you put all of them in make sure you got all of them and then you tighten them Okay, now to run the uh, power supply uh, wires, I'm sure we're gonna need the 24 pin connector for the motherboard to go through here. And we're gonna need the CPU connectors, the two four pin connectors, which is not this one. It's these, four two, uh, two four pin connectors to go through the top so they can sneak down onto the motherboard right there. Now we can grab the motherboard connector, twist it around, and plug it in like so. Okay, click, and the other one, the smaller one. and slide it in and looking straight up to the motherboard this is the cpu connector that we're going to plug in next okay now we're going to plug in this fan it has a three pin connector here so it just goes where it says system fan right there just gonna plug that in all right nice Okay, now to connect the SSD, I already mounted it here. Uh, each case is different, but in this case, it has a special mount here, so I mounted it. Now to connect it, we need two things, power and SATA cable. Power comes straight from the power supply. It's one of these uh, connectors. And the SATA cable, I show you where to connect it to the motherboard. Now you grab the SATA cable. It's these cables right here. They usually come with the motherboard and you wanna plug it if it's the main one, you want to plug it into number one. So these are the SATA connectors on the motherboard. So I'm going to look for I'm going to look for SATA number one. In my case, it's going to be this one right here. I'm going to plug it in and route it to the back where it goes. So it plugs in like so to the to the motherboard. Use this one right here. I'm just going to use this. So I'm going to bring it through the back behind the power wires and just plug it in turn it around and plug it in like so okay so I'm just gonna grab the power wire and just plug it right into the uh, SSD next to the SATA cable so it goes in like so this six pin connector it has eight six plus two this goes to the graphics card it's a pci so we're just gonna run it up through so it plugs in when we get the graphics card okay so through the bottom i'm just gonna pull it out okay we're gonna leave it here for now until we need it okay now all these power supply wires i'm not gonna need so i'm just gonna tuck them together tie them with the these ties that come with the power supply I'm just gonna fold them and hide them in here so nobody see them we will have them if we ever need them but in the meanwhile we don't need them we have the motherboard powered we have the graphics card powered we have the fans powered and the SATA the SSD so this these are just gonna sit like this until we need them in the future in case we have any upgrades now we have all these connectors that are coming from the case itself. So we have the the power switch, the power LED, the hard, the hard drive LED, and the um, the reset switch. We have the USB and audio, and we have USB three. All these we're gonna run through the case uh, closer where it goes each one, and I will show you where each plug in here in a second. Okay, now it's really simple actually where they go because if you read here, each one says exactly what it is. So USB, USB, HD audio, uh, the switch for the power, it says right next to it. And it's it's really simple. Uh, this is the USB 3, where is it? 
Uh, the USB 3, it's a like special black connector. Uh, it's right there. Yeah. So yeah, if you just look around, it says exactly. And they will match the, the pins, they will match the shape of the plug. So you can't really mess it up. You just have to read where it goes and plug it right in. Uh, each motherboard is different, the layout is different, but they all label which one where, uh, which one goes where. So it's, it shouldn't be a problem for you. And if you get kind of lost, you can always look at the installation instructions that come with the motherboard, like I have here. It tells me exactly where the power switch and the uh, uh, hard drive uh, LED and the power reset all go. So it's uh, JFP1, and there's a diagram for it and it tells me exactly what to do. Now to install the graphics card, since it is very big, we're gonna see which knockouts we have to remove. So we're just gonna line it up here and look over there. So we're gonna need the second and third knockouts to remove. In most cases, you just push them out, wiggle them back and forth. Be careful, there's some hardware over there behind it, over there, so we don't want to damage that. So we're just gonna... So there's one. There's two. Okay, now we can uh, plug in our graphics card. We're gonna open this first. Now we just gotta plug in the eight connector and the six connector. They both come from the same um, wiring glooms. Okay, so we got it all plugged in. Six pin, eight pin connectors. And this is it. The build is ready. Okay, so we have it plugged in over here and it's just a matter of flipping the switch. Okay, power is on. Power switch, see how we did. Oh yeah. Alright, so I hope the video wasn't too long. I tried to jam as much information as I could in this video without making it too terribly long. But um, as you saw, it's a very simple process. It's a step by step getting one thing done at a time and then you come up with a beautiful uh, PC like this. So with that being said, if this video was helpful to you, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.